Hi everyone, in this video I will give you an introduction to option Greeks and risk management. I will introduce the major first and second order Greeks and we will see through a simple example how they can be used for the risk management of an option portfolio. The price of an option under the Black-Scholes model is a function of four different variables. Time, the stock price, the implied volatility and interest rates. Before an option expires, its price and the PL when holding the option is a function of their dynamics. And so for risk management purposes, it is key to know what is the sensitivity of the option position to changes of these different variables. What is the PL impact of time decay? Or if the stock price decreases by 5%, the volatility increases by 10%. With a second order Taylor expansion of the option value over a short time interval delta t, we can decompose the variation of the option price. Theta, or time decay, measures the rate at which the value of the option declines due to the passage of time. The delta of an option measures the change in the option price resulting from a change in the underlying asset. For option traders, minus delta indicates how many underlying assets are needed to be purchased or sold to hedge the directional exposure of the option position. Vega measures the change in the option's price resulting from a change in the implied volatility. And Rho measures the option's sensitivity to changes in the risk-free interest rate. Theta, delta, Vega and Rho are the first order Greeks. On the second line are the most important second order Greeks. The gamma measures the rate of change of the delta of an option relative to the underlying asset price. It is the second order partial derivative of the value of the option with respect to the price of the underlying asset. The vana measures the option sensitivity to small changes in the underlying asset price and volatility. It is the sensitivity of the delta to changes in the volatility or the sensitivity of the Vega to changes in the underlying asset price. The Volga or Voma measures the sensitivity of the Vega to a change in the implied volatility. It is the second order partial derivative of the price of the option with respect to the implied volatility. And the charm is the option's sensitivity to small changes in the underlying asset price and passage of time. It is also the sensitivity of the delta to the passage of time or the sensitivity of the theta to changes in the underlying asset price. The residual regroups other second or higher order sensitivities that we didn't consider here. Greeks help in understanding the different dimensions of risk involved when trading options. They are used to decompose the PL of an option portfolio with the different sensitivities. And they are very useful in risk management. They indicate how an option or a portfolio of options is exposed to a given source of risk and they can be used to manage them. The directional risk is measured by the delta and it can be hedged by purchasing or selling the underlying asset or futures forward contracts on it. Other risks, such as Vega or Gamma, can be managed by buying or selling other options. Here is an example. We consider a portfolio of options on an underlying asset, its delta is minus 400 while its Vega is minus 50,000. We want to make the portfolio both delta and vega neutral using the underlying asset and an option on the same underlying. The delta of the underlying asset is 1. It has no vega exposure, while we assume that the delta of the option is 0.5 and its vega is 20. So we determine the quantity of options and assets we need to buy or sell in order to offset both the delta and vega exposures of the portfolio. By buying 2,500 options, we are able to cancel the Vega exposure. And we have now a delta exposure of 850. So we need to sell 850 stocks in order to have a delta neutral portfolio. By doing that, our new portfolio is both delta and Vega neutral. 
Thank you for your time.